Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to do a quick hitter edition and break down everything that's going on in Buffalo right now. And there is quite a bit to talk about um, in relation to this huge narrative that we've been covering over the last couple of years. The mafia, bikers, dead witnesses, um, dirty, alleged dirty DEA agents. Um, so the Bon Giovanni trial is kicking off right now. We're, we're going to be breaking down all the testimony. Joe Bon Giovanni, the retired DEA agent charged with uh, pocketing a quarter million dollars in bribes to protect uh, Buffalo mob drug networks. Um, his second trial is is off and running, opening arguments. We got a jury. Testimony starts next week. We'll be breaking it down um, on a nightly. But the big news right now, is that motion for dismiss has been put in uh, with Judge Villardo, not for the Bon Giovanni part of the case, but for the Peter Gerace Jr. part of the case, the nephew of reputed Buffalo Mafia godfather, uh, Joe Pizza Todaro. Um, and he is the number one defendant in this case, strip club owner, uh, uh, Pharaoh's Gentleman's Club in uh, Chictawaga and is accused of drug, sex trafficking, racketeering out of that club. Uh, there's been a lot of alleged shadiness being, you know, or allegations of shadiness being lobbed back and forth over the last year, starting with the recusal of uh, Judge Sinatra, the first judge in this case, uh, who had to step down back, you know, recused himself, stepped down in June of 20. 23. Um, and now it looks like some of this mudslinging could potentially turn into a dismissal. And this dismissal uh, is being put forth on the grounds that there has been bad faith on the part of federal prosecutors and FBI agents. And this, these allegations of bad faith are backed up by some people in the federal government, Magistrate uh, McCarthy, Jeremiah McCarthy, uh, ruled just in the last week that the government missed a deadline for discovery uh, with ill intent and uh, had failed to get a, a protection order for the um, for some of these discovery filings and, or some of the, the, fi the court filings in relation to the discovery uh, because of the fact that we've had four people uh, either directly connected or indirectly connected to this case, including two witnesses that have died under suspicious circumstances uh, in, you know, from the very first few hours that this case was filed back in November, or the first charges in this case were filed back in November of 2019. So based on Magistrate McCarthy's comments uh, in relation to this missed deadline. Um, there were other allegations in this motion dismissed made about FBI agents uh, charging some people in related cases to this case, not this case exactly, but in related cases uh, and charging them maliciously, charging them uh, according to the allegations only because they appeared on uh, Gerace Jr.'s witness list. Uh, at first, I was of the opinion that this was probably going to end up in, in sanctions for prosecutors, but probably wasn't going to end up in a dismissal. But in the last, I would say, 72 hours, I've had conversations with, with a lot of different people. And right now, I, I would put it at a 50-50 that this case gets tossed in the next 10 days uh, against Jerace Jr., Joe Bon Giovanni uh, is not implicated in any of the drug sex drug sex uh, trafficking charges. He's not implicated as of now in any of the um, suspicious deaths of the people connected to this case, including the two witnesses. Jerace Jr. is, in addition to the racketeering case, is looking at a obstruction of justice related to a homicide. Uh, connected to the August 2023 intentional overdose of the star witness in his case, Crystal Quinn, his former personal assistant and appointment secretary. 
Uh, another witness in this case ended up dead back in May after Bon Giovanni's first trial ended in kind of a split verdict um, where he was, the jury hung on the big bribery charges, but convicted of, of uh, obstruction and, and lying, obstruction in terms of stealing documents, uh, investigative documents from the DEA, as well as lying to FBI and DEA investigators related to his connections to uh, Gervais Jr. and organized crime. Um, so his case is still going, but I'm told that there's there, this is a toss up right now, possibly, you know, 50 50 chance that Gervais Jr. won't have to face charges this fall in this racketeering case. Now, if that's if that happens, he I don't see him getting bonded out because he still has to worry about uh, the obstruction case related to Quinn's homicide and uh, frankly, Quinn's homicide. Um, Joe Bon Giovanni right now, I'm told, is being looked at by investigators related to the May death of a witness, Bobby Kaiser, who was a drug dealer, uh, burglar, um, drug addict that was one of Bon Giovanni's confidential informants, um, who, according to testimony at Bon Giovanni's trial by Bobby Kaiser, uh, Bon Giovanni outed him and burned him, uh, exposed him on the streets, told drug dealers that he had been cooperating, uh, which would possibly give Bon Giovanni a motive. Again, nothing that's been officially linked to him, just that they are investigating a possible tie or if there could be a tie. We'll be coming back next week, much more in-depth reporting on, on what's going on in Buffalo. we got a Patreon rolling out. Check that out. It's going to launch uh, at the end of the first week of August. Like, subscribe, share. OG Pod, Scott Bernstein. I'm out. Mm -hmm.